Hello everyone, the first book that we are going to talk about in Queer Reads today is The Buddha of Suburbia from Hanif Qureshi. Hanif Qureshi is the Buddha of Suburbia, primarily follows the coming of age of story of the Karim Amir, who is a British Indian teenager in the 70s London. To talk about the writer a little bit, Hanif himself is a playwright and a novelist and like some of his great works, he is from a mixed ethnic background. He is from an English mother and an Indian father. Hanif attended the same school with the 70s glam rock icon David Bowie, who is also famous for experimenting with his gender and sexuality. He gained his first major success with a script he wrote for Channel 4 uh, called My Beautiful Landrette. My Beautiful Landred was set in the Thatcherian background of the 80s and featured a lot of nudity and gay sex. Your basic rent above that, you keep. Jack Kroll of Newsweek calls My Beautiful Landred a sharp, sophisticated, funny, sexy, compassionate picture. A delightful surprise in every way. A partnership of young entrepreneurs. A laundrette as big as the Ritz. Oh, yes. The screenplay for My Beautiful Landrette received an Oscar nomination. However, it was the release of Krishi's first novel, The Buddha of Suburbia, that helped him become a hero among the British immigrants from Asia. Our hero, Karim Amir, in this book, is a dreamy teenager who is indetermined of his sexuality. He is desperate to escape the clutches of the southern London and taste all the forbidden fruits of the 70s Britain seems to offer. Karim's own family offers him some unusual examples of being rebellious against mom. He has a yoga-loving father and a philanderist Harun, and his mysterious son Charlie, who really spiked the fire in Karim's imagination. And uh, Salman Rushdie offers this book as saying, the exactly the novel one hoped Kanif Qureshi would write, utterly irrelevant, wildly improper, and also genuinely touching and truthful. Oscar Wilde is praised as the one of the most influential writers in the British history. His great works like The Importance of Being Earnest, of course The Picture of Dorian Gray, and the book that we are going to talk about today, The Profundus, still continue to astonish the readers throughout the world. Not only of his great intellectualism, but also as a historical figure, Wilde uh, had to suffer severe uh, persecution and the public condemnation because of his homosexuality. And in this video, we are going to dig around a bit about his experience in prison, since the profundness is a, a product of this experience, we can say. Dear Bozy, after long and fruitless waiting, I have determined to write to you myself, as much for your sake as for mine, as I would not like to think that I had passed through two young, long years of imprisonment without ever having received a single line from you, or any news or message even except such as gave me pain. In 1891, Wilde met a young poet called Lord Alfred Douglas and they started their long and strong relationship, we can say. At that time, Lord was an undergraduate student at Oxford and uh, preparing a journal called The Spirit Lamp, which grabbed the attention of Wilde. And so he started his relationship with the Lord. And Lord Alfred Douglas also introduced Wilde the underground prostitution world of the Victorian era. So Wilde was fascinated with the new world he discovered and the people that he met. So he became a regular customer of the male prostitutions of the working class, we can say. The Marquis of Cavizet, who was the father of the Lord Douglas, soon discovered the intimate nature of the relationship between Wilde and his son. So he publicly accused Wilde of sodomy and uh, this was the beginning of the uh, real struggle for Wilde, we can say. Wilde was at that time very uh, successful writer and a playwright, so he was earning uh, a stellar amount of money and these accusations really 
uh, didn't help his reputation in that time in uh, the Victorian era. So also Wilde decided to accuse the Marquis for libel. But it was an awful wrong move since the accusations of the Marquis uh, for libel dropped, but the center of the trial became the Wilde being a homosexual. While being imprisoned, Wilde wrote a lengthy and extremely emotional letter to his beloved Lord Alfred Douglas. And in the letter, uh, he nostalgically recalled the long romance and expressed his fury about the orthodox attitude towards homosexuality. And uh, this letter is The Profundus. By the time Wilde wrote The Profundus, his love for Alfred uh, was sort of turning into a bitterness and in this book you can also capture the bitterness of his relationship and also the extraordinary attachments he felt for Lord Alfred. The Profundus has neither uh, the informality of a personal letter nor the imaginative writing so uh, it has its uh, specific tone of itself uh, and it's seductive it's hurt and passionate so uh, it has we can say a category of its own so and it remains of one of the most influential and one of the most complex love letters ever written <laughs>